as I sit and wait for the moment, I thought I would go ahead and share a video with you um, about confidence. This is probably the most important thing in horsemanship, in training, in just everyday general time spent with horses. I'm aware that some of you guys are going to watch this video and probably think, well, duh. And that's fine. Um, however, I am going to share a couple different perspectives that you may not have thought of. And if you have, great. Maybe this is just something you can help, you know, send someone else or that can help them get through it. So the first thing in relation to confidence, uh, I like to look at the horse, okay, and think like a horse and try to keep that mindset. I feel like when we make it more about the horse and less about ourselves, it's like an instant, like, boom, you know, an instant boost of confidence. It's a, it totally changes your perspective about things and it makes you feel accountable for being confident for your horse. So number one, if you've been around horses long enough and have had the opportunity to observe horses together in their own environment, like being able to freely interact together, whether it being a pasture or a corral of some sort, it doesn't take long to notice that they work on what I would call a totem pole system. Basically what that means is you have your horse that's at the top of the totem pole. This is going to be your most dominant horse. This is going to be your leader. And then you're going to have your second dominant, third dominant, fourth dominant, so on until you get to the very bottom, which is going to be your least dominant horse. Um, even if you just have two horses, three horses, 50 horses, there's always going to be a most dominant. There's always going to be a leader. Horses by nature are herd animals. They seek a leader. They want a leader. They need a leader in their herd. It's no different than, you know, a pack, just like pack animals, wolves and whatever, coyotes. I mean, they, they have an alpha, right? So they have a leader. Same thing in businesses. They have a leader. Same thing with families. They have a leader. Groups need a leader. Even if it's just you and your horse, one of you has to be the leader and you have to make that decision. If you're not going to be the leader, it's going to be your horse. And your horse knows that. Horses are very confident creatures. If you have had that opportunity to observe horses together, freely interacting, you would also notice that horses aren't very polite with each other. It's typically like a small warning um, or gesture and then followed by consequence, okay? It's never like, pardon me, excuse me, oh, I'm sorry. There's not a whole lot of politeness going on. Horses, of course, can be affectionate with each other, but when they want something, they're going to let you know. When they don't want something, they're also going to let you know. And like I said before, by nature, being herd animals, naturally, they're going to strive to be the leader, okay? They're going to test you. They're going to continue to test you. For example, in relation to this, I had a new intern start, which by the way, guys, she's doing so good. I'm so excited to see her growth. Um, she hadn't had any horse experience before. So I worked with her, you know, and just kind of slowly moved her up. Um, and you being able to ride outside the round pen and whatnot. And now she's far beyond that. But for example, the first day that she rode the horses outside of the round pen and she got to ride almost every horse and we rotated. Well, every single horse I put her on y'all, and I'm, I'm not joking, every single horse, I'm talking from three years old to 15 years old. Okay. Literally tried to turn around almost immediately. Like when, when, once she was in the arena, excuse me, tried to turn around and go back to the trailer. Yeah, I don't have a fence around my arena. Like, it's completely wide open. They've never done that with me. Not even one time. I mean, she literally was having a hard time getting them to just move forward in the arena. They just were like, we're going to go back to the trailer. <laughs> I mean, it, honestly, it was comical, like, for me to see because they've never tried that with me before. Not even suggested, you know, and it, 
it's just amazing how they can sense that the difference in her confidence and my confidence. They know that I'm their leader, okay? They also knew that she was not their leader. And the only difference between what she was doing and what I would do, it wasn't her seat, it wasn't her feet, it wasn't her hands, none of that. I'm not more aggressive. I'm not suggesting that you know you should be more aggressive just because horses can be aggressive with each other. However, I am suggesting that you should be confident, that you have to be confident for your horse because they know that. Horses know if you're confident or not. In fact, did you know that horses can actually hear your heartbeat before you ever even get on? I mean, that's that's wild, right? I mean, it's really kind of cool. It's really cool, actually. Um, but not only can they hear your heartbeat, they can feel it. Just like we can feel their heartbeat. And I, again, if you ride performance horses, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, moving into the second perspective before I completely lose you guys. Uh, and this is, this relates to everything else I just shared as well. There are circumstances when a horse can act completely different with two different riders. I have seen this happen so many times. If you have seen it happen, you know exactly what I mean. And it's something pretty spectacular to witness. Uh, it's just a reminder that horses are not machines. They are living, breathing animals with a mind of their own. They depend on us to be their leaders. They depend on our partnership, on our guidance, and so on. So, rider one, the horse is nervous, spooky, chargy, possibly refuses the alleyway, the list goes on and on. Rider two, the horse is calm, relaxed, focused, and comfortable. The reason being is simple. It's confidence. It's not because rider two is the best at what they do. It's not because rider two has magic in their pocket. It's not because rider two gives that horse treats. Guys, I'm telling you, it's confidence. That's the only difference between rider one and rider two. Of course, there's experience and yes, there's a feel that has to be acquired and whatnot along the way. But the main ingredient is confidence. Confidence is key. And the reason the horse reacts this way is because if you can imagine we can feel their heartbeats, right? Like when they get nervous or excited, we can really feel that heart pumping underneath us. Now imagine being the horse and flipping it. There's someone on top of you whose heart is pounding and muscles are tense. How scary is that? Imagine having someone on top of you controlling you that's scared, that's not confident. Remember how horses are herd animals? They need a leader. They seek a leader. They're also flight animals. You know, the whole fight or flight. By nature, horses, they're not predators, obviously. They're preyed on. So they have more of a flight mentality, okay? Okay. So if you're a horse and you have someone on your back that's scared and their heart's pumping and their muscles are tense and they're not sure about their cues and they're not confident, that's scary. Your horse is scared. Your horse is thinking, oh my gosh, they're scared. I must be scared. There must be something scary, right? I mean, makes total sense, okay? That's why it's so important to be confident for your horse, even if you're not sure about what you're doing, about your cues. Guys, the only secret is patience, number one. Consistency and confidence. And what that means to be confident means to be confident in what you're asking that horse to do. 
to know that if you're communicating right and consistently, you're eventually going to get the response and the results that you want. But the only way to get there is to be confident. Confidence is key. Hopefully this helps someone. I constantly have to remind myself. I mean, I'm a pretty confident writer. Um, but there are times when there are some intimidating horses. and Or even just getting in a slump, you know, with a horse. That can definitely hinder your confidence. And the only way you can get out of it is recognizing it, taking action about it, and just sticking with it. That's all.